Okay, go, go. Oh, no. I give it B. Can I give it B tier? Yeah. So here, here's the thing about the uh, you, Gallagher. You shit. just won't rate it S tier because you don't like pressing button fast. You're not wrong. I do. But there's no no reason to make fun of the disabled like that. That's that's not cool. Yes. Where's my map? I, I know. I I wasn't born born like this. Actually, I was. I was born like this. Leave me alone. Um. I, I like the item. I actually genuinely like the item, but I would be lying to you if the only reason I didn't give it an A or S tier is because I can't, I can never get out of it. But it's not so stupidly broken that like it's impossible to get out of it. Yeah. And I, I like the mechanic where uh, if you hit it once, then like uh, it becomes even harder to get out of it. But if you hit it twice, then it blows yeah. up. I think it should be A tier. No. You wanna put it A? I think it's A tier. Because the only reason I didn't put it A tier is because of my dysgraphia. <laughs> I'm fine with it, A. I mean, it's from Galaga. So, it fits yeah, it, it's, it's the game perfectly. And it functions how it did, like, mainly yeah. how it does in the game. So, it it's a nice. Noise. It has the noise. Like, <laughs> And it's a unique item. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming you're going to say something up here. I'd go with A. I would say S. I really like the Killing Edge. It's got a lot of personality. It functions how it does in Fire Emblem. My only gripe with the Killing Edge is how long you can use it. But I'll, I would let, still. I'll let you put it at S because you let me put Wind Gun in its own tier. Well, I mean, you didn't <laughs> let me. I, I really have no control over this situation, but I obliged you. That's what you mean. Mm -hmm. To explain myself, a few things. Number one, complete and other fire bias. <laughs> but it, it's not just that. It's. I just like the item. It's well balanced. Again, though, I think it should be destroyed after a few uses. Kind of like how it is in my room. Gun. Yeah. I mean, I'd give it a C. I'd give it a C. It's yeah, it's C. It's not like anything special. I would even. I would actually argue B tier. No. Because it's iconic. I mean, it yeah. is iconic. But it, it's like, it has it's the unique, most boring out of all of them. But it has unique properties. It's not just a laser gun. It's a laser gun. It's just a laser gun. It's not just a laser gun. Compared to I, the other I also, items that are gun, it's just a laser gun. Maybe. But I really like its design. It's icky, yucky design. Got him. I don't care if we're B dear. You should put it at B. Why? Let's, 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 let's flip a coin, head or tails. Uh, wait, hold on, I can't see it. I'm not even gonna be honest. Because Siri's going to say it. Oh. Hey Siri. Uh, tails. Flip a coin. It's tails this time. Darn it! She said heads. And sweet! I said tails. Sweet victory! Put that baby at B tier! Oh, Siri said tails. I mean, Siri said heads. I don't know what you're talking huh. about. I heard Siri. Don't lie to me. Okay, this. I like this. The flame? Yeah, that's a decent item. I wouldn't say it's like... God. Where would I, you I would... It? I'd give it a solid B. I mean, my screen is completely frozen right now, but that's not I know okay. what you're talking about. Uh, grass. It's just a it's more just... boring capsule. Yeah. Except you can't throw... I'm thinking... Don't get me wrong! I like the Super Mario World 2 reference. Super Mario thinking... World 2. Super Mario Bros. 2 reference. But, I'm thinking you know. D, F, ish. I would say... I, I would even argue for F. I'm thinking F. Because, I mean, it's just so it's boring. Great. F. Yeah, F. Sorry, Grass. One star. I'm. I think A. I love this item. Really? Yes. 
Would you be upset with me if I said D? Uh, I would beat you up. Because <laughs> now we have to argue on B or C. True, but can I explain why I think it's D? Why? Because you're a loser. Maybe. I see it like the black hole. I never find a way to use it properly. I can never use it properly. Maybe but it's when just you me. you do use it properly? The thing is, oh! I never use it properly. That's... I use it properly. I'm trying. It's like I'm a trying better, my hardest. It's like a better, more cool, epic bumper. What? It's like the bumper, but 20 times better. Okay. You, this is you, why I wanted to put it at detail. At okay. Wait, no. Compromise at C. High C. But we don't have a high C. Where am I supposed to put it? Right there? Well, get a high C. I, I, I don't know. I can't see it. My screen's frozen. Okay. I'll... Fine. I'll put it... C. Okay. <sighs> I see how it is. I see how it is! Ha <laughs> ha! You didn't laugh at my high C joke. Yeah. Well, I also said high C. Oh. Uh, shell. Green shell. Where's the red shell? Can I put this one at B tier? Yeah. Oh, red... Sh red shell's not in here because it was in, uh, melee. In melee alone. Actually, it might have been in Brawl, too. I don't remember. I, I don't like want to play Brawl. I'll put it. I, I like Green Shell, too. It, it functions how Green Shell should function. Yeah. It's up there with the Bob Bomb. Just maybe a bit worse. Um, Healing Pod? Uh, I mean, it's useful. But I'd never say I would go out of my way to get a Healing Pod. Does that make sense? I feel yeah. like there are better... I there are I items that do it better. It like, C. That's what I have. Yeah, I give it to a C. Like, I think the uh, the thing everybody thought was related to Golden Sun did that's, a better job at beginning healing. That's next! Oh my god! Oh, what a segue! I. Uh, I like this. It's a C for me. Because I like it. 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 But it's like the sticky bomb where you have to throw it to get it stuck to you. Unless but you're if you were holding it, it but if you're holding it, you can't do like a you can't do certain attacks because you throw it at somebody. So you have to so, compromise. You have, you have so to see what's every more time important. I get it, no, 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 no. It doesn't matter because you can just throw it straight up and grab and then stick it to you. But yeah, but annoying. then somebody else can run into you and stick in stick it. So no, like they can steal you. Walk away from them. <laughs> I yeah, but do it every time I face anybody and nobody stops. Me. Like it's easy to do and nobody's gonna like jump in front of, jump above you and grab it. It's just I'm not annoying. Say, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like you know, like the sticky bomb. It can be transferred. Yeah, it can be transferred. I'm fine with that. But I think you should be able to stick it to yourself when you grab it. Okay, I could see your point, because but I would still, I would still bomb, give it a B tier, on concept yeah, alone. Okay. I'm fine with that because I like it better than the healing pod. Yeah, uh, it's I just, just like I just sticky, really the oh. sticky bomb. You throw it because you want to throw it at somebody because it's used to hurt somebody. Well, mm -hmm. you don't want to throw something that unless you're playing somebody. on teams. Yeah, unless if you're playing on teams, but you could just walk into your teammate and transfer it. Now, the, the thing is, it would be a lot lower if, uh, in my opinion, it would be a lot lower if you couldn't use it to heal yourself. Because then, like, yeah. you know, what's, what's the point? But you can do that. That's because like, I feel like if anybody watches this, will be like, oh, that idol blows. It's just a sticky bomb. So if you throw it at your opponent, then you're screwed. I think you, you should know. be able to, like, Z-drop it. Like, press the grab button to drop it. And he and you, like, stick it to yourself or something. That would make sense. That would be fine. Pokeball. I mean... I really like the Pokemon. Can we give that an S tier? Solid yeah. S tier? And while we're at it, might as well uh, assist trophy... S tier. Yeah. Uh, Master uh, Ball? Well, can I, let me just what? say something real quick before we move on to Master Ball, because I, I got some words for Master Ball. What can we really say about 
Pokeball and the Sis Trophy besides that they are literally just characters that you can summon that 9 times out of 10 represent themselves well and are extremely useful. Yeah. It's just more fan service. Yeah. And who doesn't like fan service? Master Ball though. It's just a Pokeball but you get the cool... I would yeah, give it A tier and I could argue for B tier. Can I? Uh... Argue so, here, but I think we if we were ranking on the items' powers alone, Master Ball. then Master Ball would actually probably be top. Yeah. My problem with the Master Ball, and maybe I remember it happening a lot in Smash Four, and I can't really speak that much for Ultimate, but it shows up way too much. It has the same problem with the. Dragoon and the uh, it, giant mean, it laser cannon. Doesn't show up as much as the Pokeball, but it's yeah it's quite similar. I, like it I shows feel up like, a lot for being the Master Ball. Uh, I feel like, and maybe maybe it was nerfed. I don't know, but from my experiences, it shows up way too much. If it had like a heart container value, where like you know you, the heart container is a really good item, but it's it's so rare, it kind of balances itself out due to its rarity. I'll quickly be right back. Cue epic song and dance while we wait. Back. Welcome I'm back. back. I'm not back. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Heart container. I like this item. I this would item give it. Cool. An, it's done well. I would give it an S tier, personally. That fits it. Cause I mean, I already it's explained extremely why good. I like the heart container. It's extremely yeah. good. Doesn't come like too much. It's, it's a good idea. It's a classic. Who doesn't like Heart yeah. Container? Um, Sit down! I, I see you in the comment. Uh, <laughs> is that Wing Gun? It's the same as Wing Gun? Uh, because it's from Pikmin. No. I don't oh. know. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. It's just like... It's just a worse Snorlax. Yeah. I never found much use to it. I would even argue D tier. I could see D tier. I personally believe he belongs in S. <laughs> ah, Just because right. I mean he's he's a staple. If you don't, he is he's a literally in the picture. Look, I love Mr. Sadden as much as the next guy, and because of that, I I will say he is classic C tier. He's not a C tier. Mr. Saturn has a lot of problems I have with a lot of the items in D tier. The only difference is he's Mr. Saturn. He's so freaking adorable. And yes, he does have a use internet. It's called shield breaking. So can we compromise but at B tier? So I, said I would compromise at B tier. The only reason I didn't put him in D tier is because A, he's a staple. B, uh, earthbound biased. So I'm okay with him at B tier. But no, yeah. I'd rank them so high because I mean I don't want to be I don't want to be that much of a hypocrite. I can't literally sit down and say I don't like the boxes, I don't like the barrels. No, it's more so I don't like the bumpers, star and uh, black hole, and then give a pass to Mr. Shatter. You know, not fair. I'm all about fair here. The fairest man alive. I just want him up there because I could care less about his item. He's just like a... He's literally in the pot in like the giant art. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if people thought Mr. Saturn was more of a Smash character than a Nurse character. Yeah. He's been in more, uh... He's been in more Smash games than he did in other games. Uh... I give it a D tier. I ne like I Like I say, I could never use it properly. I mean, it's not a bad, bad item. I could compromise and see if he wanted to argue for that, but... Eh. I'm fine with D. It's just like, 
There are better items. If you get it, you throw it down. If it does something, that's cool. Is it probably going to do something? I don't know, maybe like a tiny sliver of damage? Mm -hmm. Maybe kill somebody if they're at like extremely high percent? Okay. M. I would maximum tomato, by the way. Personally, I'd give it an S tier. It's kind of like a less- I'd give it like an A. Because, I mean, I really like it, but I wouldn't put it on the level of the heart container. True. I can see your point. Well, it's basically, um... So, if the benefit of a heart container was that it heals, like, what, 100%? The heart and container and when it's rare, max, doesn't it? There is a percent cap. Oh, there is. I thought it was just max. Uh-huh. No, there is a percent cap. What do you want to compromise that, A? Would you compromise? Yeah, we could do A. Okay. The metal box. Metal box? D or F. I've never found the metal box useful. I'd put it at I'll put it at D. The idea is you're not supposed to be able to, to get hit off much. But if D. you get hit off, you're just dead. Because, I mean, your just, recovery just gets... It's just not good. Oh, man. There it is. The pinnacle of human evolution. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'd rate it. I like the item. Not S. Maybe B ish. I would put it at C because it's not as good as it was in Melee. Yeah, I prefer the one in Melee. But I would give it a high C. Oh, C is fine. This? The flower? Lipstick. I would actually, believe it or not, I'd give it an A. An A? I'd say around. For me, it'd be like a higher C. So you want to compromise? We can compromise at B. I just, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like a unique item. That being said, they didn't just give you a poison staff, they gave you this flower. So that represents poison in Spanish Bros. Kind of, yeah. kind of cool, actually. I, I like how they did it. I don't know if that relates to Pedal de Pond or not, but whatever. Uh, or club. I like this one. I would give it an A or a B. I'll it's kind of like a less OP version of the wind gun. No. It's what the wind gun should be. Minus the fact that you can hit somebody in the face with it. This? The disco ball? I give it a C tier. Classic C tier. Because, you know, I like how it's presented. It's a pinata. It's like, you know, I it's guess like you could make the same. Argument is the box. Cool. Uh huh. And bonus points for this pinata. Instead of just like blowing up like the other boxes, this it one just drop drops a bunch of bar bomb. bombs. And I don't know if it still does it. What, I like the mechanic where if you were under it, it would drop a bunch of bar bombs. So if you were literally waiting under it, if you weren't patient for it to drop, then, uh, you get you get exploded. Wait, you have to like step bombs? back nine times out of ten. So I don't think it's always bombs if you stand under it. I don't. I think they took that mechanic out. Yeah. But in the older games, they used to do that, and I really, I really like that concept. I like the item. Pitfall. <laughs> I like this. This is an A. For I me. do too. I would say high B, but I could see A. I would compromise for A. Okay. Me personally, it's a high B. I, I love the uh, concept, it stays true to Animal Crossing, it's useful, but it's not like stupidly broken. Is it an Animal Crossing item? Yeah. Oh. It was the it was... first Animal Crossing I related- I it was just like an original item. No, it's, it's Animal Crossing. I also really like the pitfall because it can spike you if you throw it at someone when they're off the cliff. I didn't know that. Yeah, it just Thank spikes you. you. You're just dead if it hits if you throw it at someone when they're off the cliff. It's really hard to hit. Th like cuz of how small it is, it's really hard to hit when somebody's trying to recover. But if you uh -huh. actually can hit it, it's really good. Warp Star. Warp Star. I, I like this. I would even go for an S tier. Because I really like how it's used. Um, 
you know, I can... it's not too ter it's not too terribly broken. But if you're not paying attention, it's devastating. Yeah, I can settle with an S tier. I like how you can it's... slow it down now. Apparently, you can uh -huh. slow it down, move it to the side. What I would say, we didn't really mention this with Pokeball, but like, in a battle, it is genuinely fun to do like a Warp Star only battle. Because with a Warp Star only battle, like, the entire rules change. So you're like, weaving in and out of Warp Stars, and your cost, you don't know where he's gonna land, and you want to. You don't want to be the first one to pick up the Warp Star, but you also don't want your opponent to be a Warp Star. It's just really tense. I really like them. Best item, 10 out of 10. Not as good as Killing Edge. Power block. I would say D tier. I personally think like B ish for me. Get in oh. classic mode. It's really useful in classic mode. I've never really found much use for it. I like the item. I wouldn't say it's boring, and it can't harm you, so that's why I was going D tier. But like, I never. So. It's kind of yawned. Middleman C tier. Mm hmm. So, the lightning bolt. I'm gonna say F tier. F tier? Why is that? So, hear, hear me out. Hear me out on this. I was more C. We could compromise at DIS. But hear me out. Every time I get the lightning bolt, I'm always the one who shrunk. You're really Every time somebody else gets the lightning bolt, I'm always the one that shrunk. <laughs> That's just luck against you. This, this is what I get for being good at cards. I would... Rambling uh, Mushroom... I'd have to give it... I re I'd give it like a BC. I would give it an S. I really love this item. It's I'll probably settle, one of my favorite items. I'll settle for A, B-ish. Because I like the I idea. I like the item. I like it a lot. But mm -hmm. but sometimes it just really gives me like the wind gun vibe where you just stand at the edge of the map and they're just dead. But True. that's sometimes. Like sometimes it's not. Sometimes it, like it, even if they camp at the edge, sometimes it's fine. It's the better fire flower and um, it, the thing it's about really it. What I I like about it is like it's it's what the wind gun should be. It's annoying. Mm. But not extremely overpowered. I think it would be a better item if the mushroom effect didn't have, uh, like, as long as it's, like, a stun effect. Or if you were going to give it a stun effect, you could, like, do it in, like, uh, a gust. So, like, you shoot out, I don't know, what would you call that, spurs? So you shoot out the spurs, right? And it comes in, like, a ball. So you shoot that... Kind of like, um, like the lipstick, the lipstick, the, the, the flower. So kind of like that. So like, except it would be range and instead of doing damage to you, it could do damage to you. But instead of that being the main focus, it just screws with your controls. Yeah. I like how it screws with your controls and it's not a very long range. It's like shorter range. So it's not mm -hmm. extremely overpowered like the wind gun. Yeah. Like, you can still camp them on the ledge, but if you're like, and? oh, my controls are backwards. One second, once you get used to it, you're like, oh, I'm just, I recovered. It, it, why I would put it personally above the wing gun is it does a better job at representing its actual, what actually happens in Earthbound. Yeah. These things, for as obscure as Earthbound is, the rambling evil mushrooms and effect it has on you is kind of iconic. Excuse you, what do you think you're doing? Put that back! I'll give it a Put Aw, oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Next up, we have Little Mac's best friend. See, see they could have just put in that in the stupid rambling mushroom and got rid of the wind gun. Boom! Perfect replacement! Just get rid of the wind gun! <laughs> I literally, when I have my item, my item one, I have everything on. But the wind gun. Because I won't play with the wind gun. I refuse. I play with the wind gun. Yeah, well, you're dumb. Well, I use a lot of reflex, too. The wind gun is useless if you use it. Does it reflect it? I don't think it reflects, because it's not a projectile. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's it a does? projectile. 
Yeah. No. The only thing the Franklin badge can't re reflect that the projectile, which is weird for me, is Joker's bullets. Yeah. That's weird. They should fix that. Honestly, Sakurai, why haven't you fixed that yet? 